Public land issues are center stage for the special election coming up, with both candidates pushing themselves as avid sportsmen. Tonight, we take a look at some fish, wildlife, and park records that may show some discrepancies. Appealing to the Montana way of life. That is what both Rob Quist and Greg Gianforte have been portraying in their ads. However, MTN News obtained the hunting and fishing licenses for both candidates, and they are quite different. As you can see here, Gianforte has extensive records. However, Rob Quist records dating back to 2002 show nothing. It might be misleading, certainly, if you haven't hunted and fished in 15 years. But, the, I mean, the bigger question that the campaign certainly doesn't want to have to answer right now, is he, do, is he doing this illegally? If you look at Greg Gianforte, you know, this is part of who he is. Now, the absence of a hunting or fishing license does not mean that you can't support public lands. In fact, according to a 2011 census, about 58% of Montanans didn't have either license. And when asked today about his records, Quist told MTN that he uses public lands in the same way many other Montanans do. Get out into a kayak and a canoe, and so, uh, you know, the fact that there's, there's people that recreate, you know, much more than just hunting and fishing. However, in this interview today, along with another one that MTN did about two weeks ago, it seems that Quist still portrays this image that he is a hunter. As a, a member of the ranching and farming community, you know, um, bringing meat home to the table was always a, you know, a way of life. Amongst uh, the people in my, <clears throat> my family to bring meat home to the table, and I've done that many times. There is no doubt that Quist uses public lands, but his confusing record of hunting is something that may concern voters. I'm not the normal kind of person that's going to Washington, D.C., but then you're engaging in something that might be perceived by some as duplicitous. That's not good because that puts you in the category of, like, regular politicians. MTN reached out again to the Quist campaign to address his comments about, quote, providing meat for his family, unquote. A spokesperson for the campaign said that Rob has not broken the law to enjoy Montana's outdoors. The special election will be held on May 25th. And of course, don't forget.